Commander. Commander. How's the ship holding up, Edie? The envelope of mass free space. Commander. Good to see you, Commander. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Commander. Crowding heat through propulsion and weapons will let us use the internal emission sink for three hours longer than normal. Not if it overloads propulsion. Give her a chance, Daniels. Increasing the utility of the stealth drive could come in handy. Propulsion and weapon systems have built-in heat sinks. They can trap heat while we're in stealth mode to buy us time. Quarian ships do it when they can't find a safe place to bleed off static charge. It's completely safe. This isn't a Quarian freight hauler, Tommy. Our heat diffusion systems are precision engineering. Do this, and we'd have to replace them twice as often. We can afford that. I'm more worried that it won't work. Can't put my finger on why, though. It's going to overload propulsion. You'll be fine, Gabby. Weapons would overload long before propulsion. That doesn't make me feel better. It's a risk, yes. But it's worth it when we need the stealth drive. Rerouting heat flow. Oh, it. Told you. I know. I'll start on repairs. Thanks, whole flame. Hey, Shepard. Nothing to report, Commander. Power grid is in the green. Commander. Commander. Hey, Shepard. Just reviewing some charts.
Not right now. Please, enjoy your day. Hey. Ready for the next mission? Shepard, the intel you sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Ready. Except for the Catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. For all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. What happens if Cerberus doesn't have the intel we need? Or they stop us from getting it? Then we lead the fleets to Earth and we take our chances. But your intel points to Cerberus and the elusive man holding the information we're looking for. And... we have the element of surprise. Cerberus won't know what hit him. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. I'll get the fleets mobilized.
It's going to take a few more hours for the fleets to mobilize. I hate the waiting. I've been trying to find ways to pass the time. Come up with anything good? I thought maybe you could use some company tonight. Will you stay here with me? Until the call comes? For as long as you want. system has adapted. No more negative reaction to you anymore. That's how we survive. Is it how we survive? Adapting? To a cold or interspecies contact? Yes. To the Reapers? No. You're doing the right thing. You've assembled the largest military force in history. Nobody could have done more. We've lost so much already. Sometimes I... You don't know if what'll be left was worth the fight? I know. And when I feel that way, I reach for you. Thanks. Whenever you need me. The strike team is in. We've got our foothold. Fifth Fleet, all forward. I don't want a single server ship in my sky when we're through. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Why? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. With my knowledge of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. Grab your gear. 